Um, listening, I would say, is probably the key discipline, to use that word. Um, listening. Um, uh, I think, by and large, people are not, typically, are not really used to being listened to. No. Um, and I think one of the results of the fact that actually, as a species, we're not really used to being listened to, is that and a lot of the time we actually don't know who we are. You know? Exactly. Um, and so it's, it can be actually a truly wonderful experience to be properly listened to, because it doesn't happen very often. Um, and when you're listened to, and particularly when you're listened to and that listening is actually fed back to you, so you get to hear yourself, you get to hear your own utterances. Uh, utterances that perhaps you might have spoken, but that you don't somehow know fully yourself. To that degree, you get to know yourself in a different kind of way, and have yourself confirmed and valued. Uh, and I think all of that goes on in the act of listening. Listening. Yeah. Good. Yeah. To feel that you are valued. Yes. Well, to um, one of my probably my greatest, well, yeah, one of my kind of mentors um, is a woman called Helen Bamba, and she she actually she founded the Medical Foundation for Victims of Torture. And she was one of the kind of founding Amnesty mm -hmm. members. Um, and she herself set up the Medical Foundation because she's saying, OK, well, it's, yes, it's fine to do all this campaigning work, but we actually have people in this country that have suffered all these terrible things. And actually, they themselves need to be listened to, <laughs> interestingly enough. And she started her life, her kind of working life, um, at the tender age of 19 going to, um, to Auschwitz um, after, after the concentration camp was liberated um, and listening to the inmates of Auschwitz. Right? Um, and the whole point was, of course, there was, there was nothing else to do or rather all that you could do as, a human, as another human being was to listen. There was no remedy, there was no fix, there was no solution. But what you could do as another human being was, and, and she used the expression to bear witness, you could actually bear witness to the suffering of another person. <laughs>